Now let's go ahead as promised. We had the chance to talk with Bill Medley. And believe me, when you can get someone like him who's got this legacy, you take him when you can get him. And we actually had this conversation after yesterday's show. So let's go ahead and share that with you now. Oh, a group that really the name came from a compliment because they were righteous then. And you know what? Righteous now. I'm talking with Bill Medley today from the Righteous Brothers. Bill, hello. It is so good to see you. How are you today? I am great. I am in uh, Newport Beach, California, looking out on the water and uh, but getting ready to go to Florida. And we are so excited that you are going to be heading down here performing two shows. Before we dive in, you know, to some of your history and the things that I'm sure people always are asking and wanting to know, I'm curious about why you hit the road again. I mean, someone who's had the success like yourself, I mean, from all of your awards, Grammy, Oscar, Golden Globes, American Music Award, uh, you can just kind of enjoy this time, sit back, relax, enjoy your home. What is it about getting out and about and performing that keeps you still going strong? Well, I, I guess it's just the love of music and love of performing and getting to go out and, you know, see the fans and, and talk to them and hear hear the stories. Uh, it's just, you know, listen, I've always said I'm a one trick pony. I, <laughs> I, I'm a singer and that's what I do. I, actually, this last year and a half has been one of the toughest uh, year and a half I've ever lived, not being able to go on stage. So that's why we're so thrilled about uh, coming to Florida. We're gonna come and do probably uh, uh, eight, nine or 10 concerts. And, uh, you know, it's just what I, I've been doing it 60 years and uh, I, I just, uh, it's not that I, you're right. I don't need to do it, but uh, I just love to do it. You want to do it. Well, we were taking a look there at some highlights and you and Bucky heard one of the stories that I enjoyed reading and getting ready to talk with you today, how there was a friendship there before you even talked about him joining and you starting this partnership up. And I even read you were contemplating going solo for a while, but decided to bring Bucky in. And, and that hasn't changed. You guys are still out there together. And, and even sometimes on stage, even bring in your daughter, right? Yeah, my daughter. Uh... Actually, I recorded the song for Dirty Dancing. I've had the time of my life. And uh, my it was right when my daughter was born. And now she's on stage singing, <laughs> singing the song with me. So it's uh, it's very it's very cool. And, and Bucky Hurd is a phenomenal partner, a great singer and uh, probably most important, a really, really great friend. I love hearing that. You know, you brought up Dirty Dancing, uh, you in the movies have had quite a relationship. And I think it's interesting to look at your music and you have so many maybe couples perhaps that had their first kiss to one of your songs, you know, back in the day, or you've got other generations that when they hear a certain song, you know, they think a Top Gun. Explain what that means to you as the fact you're still performing these songs on stage for enthusiastic audiences to know how much your songs do resonate and mean to people today tomorrow forever well it's you know it, it's pretty amazing i and uh i don't even know kind of how i feel about it other than i feel real blessed and honored that uh <clears throat> you know in the 60s we got our hands on you know some really good great songs i can say that because i didn't write them but uh i i i am absolutely amazed that i'm 81 years old and still going on stage singing songs that I recorded when I was 25 years old. And and it, it's really an honor. And people say, when are you going to retire? And I say, well, I have to get a job first. This, <laughs> this is not a job, but uh, how it's uh, maintained for so long is really, really quite amazing. I mean, it it's probably amazes me more than anybody. Hmm. Hey, Bill, I had read somewhere, too, you, you've already touched on the fact the past year and a half has been challenging, challenging for everybody. You also had to deal with throat surgery. And I heard you say, though, you kind of feel that your voice may be stronger than ever. Yeah, I, you know, in 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 74 or something like that, 
I was told that I would uh, never sing again. And uh, that wasn't an option because <laughs> that's all I do. Mm -hmm. But uh, And I got my voice back. And then, uh, yeah, in May of 2020, I, I had a, a tumor in my, my throat. They removed it and it wasn't cancerous. And uh, yeah, ever since then, it feels like my throat is even even stronger and clearer. I've made it. sinuses, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Bill, we've only got 30 seconds left. I want to throw two more quick one out there for you, okay? And you can just answer these, the first thing that comes to your mind. First off, what is the song that gets the best reaction from the audience that you perform? Probably Unchained Melody, but Ghost is, uh, I mean, uh, uh, you lost that love and feeling. I, I guess love and feeling is probably <laughs> the biggest. And the last one, my last question for you, what song of yours is the most fun to still perform after five and a half decades of live performances? No, oh boy, you know, your, song, your hits are like your children. You just love them all. <laughs> uh, but I would say well, I do a, uh, a tribute to Bobby Hatfield in the show where I do Unchained Melody, and that's probably my, my favorite moment in the show. Oh, well, this has been one of my favorite moments to get to talk with you. And of course, people can enjoy your songs in person. Again, two shows over in Clearwater. We want to be sure share that information once more. January 21st and 22nd, RuthEckerHall.com for more information. Thanks again for your time, Bill. It was a pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure.